These are 19 life-saving moves you won't regret learning. For the first move, we got the bridge wall escape. This move is very useful for escaping a situation where your only way out is a bridge, but it's blocked by a wall. Instead of assuming it's one layer, falling into the void and getting put into a funny moments video, you can simply have your blocks out, jump to the side and place blocks under you using the wall. Here's a situation where you would need to use this. Let's say you're fighting a player, but your health is getting too low and you only have a few blocks. Your only path is a bridge, but it's blocked with a tough layer of wall. By simply using this, you'll most likely survive this next one is what i call the high ground counter it's basically a move that counters the high ground technique in case you don't know what that is it's when you build up fast and drop down to combo your enemy this move is now pretty predictable by most players but you still might not know how to counter it all you have to do is see if your enemy is running away from you with blocks in their hand or leaving a sword battle before they're even low take your bow out and shoot them as they start building up and make sure to stay back so you don't get comboed you can now finish them off because you deal extra damage with your bow keep in mind if they decide not to build up and just keep running then bot them to keep constant pressure this next move is basically using the fireball to knock your enemy off the bridge except that your enemy doesn't know what's about to happen this would mainly work well if your enemy thinks you're weak and pushes you then you have to be behind the wall and when they're getting close peek from the corner and send an unexpected fireball at them it's best to use this only if your health is low or your enemy has better loot advantage the other cheaper variation of this would be to use a bow instead for this next move you can take advantage of being able to crawl through blocks to unexpectedly catch your enemy off guard when they least expect it let's say you're faced with an enemy who's either low or has weaker loot than you and they're on top of a roof or over a tall bridge you can pearl at the bottom of it and would most likely get on top now you can easily fight and kill them this next one is a decent move let's say you're being chased by an enemy and you're about to do the high ground technique since that's what they expect you can place a block down early as if you're gonna go off using that block but instead quickly go up on a different block and drop down to combo your enemy this would catch the average player off guard or even a better player since they would be predicting your move and direction here's a real match clip where I used this. I was at the middle against this Uzi kit and he was about to dash so I threw him off guard with his block and went up on the other one. As you can see it worked. We had a sword fight back to back fighting but he made a big mistake. He panicked and tried to run so he died. Never try to run in a sword fight unless you know what you're doing. This next move is one that you would mainly use when you're being targeted by multiple enemies. You can build up and get on tall structures and basically parkour your way out. This is very beneficial against teams or shilia kits since they would have to keep up with you while parkouring from building to building. Make sure that you use this according to how many blocks you have left. If you have lots of blocks, don't worry about wasting them. But if you have less, then you have to take advantage of the existing structures around you. Having UZ kit also makes this much easier since you can reach buildings that are farther from you. This next one's a pretty known move, but I'll mention it anyways. And I call it the backwards block spam. It's when you're low and have an enemy chasing you. So you build blocks rapidly behind you like this to slow them down. This move is way more stronger while you're on a bridge since it's thin and your enemies can easily get stopped or fall off. For this next move, it's a fairly new one. It's basically using the wall to place a block like this to stop your enemy. If they're in first person, their vision would get blocked. If they're not, their movement would still get blocked and they can't attack you. You can then hop on the block, attack them, and use this bit of high ground to combo them. This move is great to keep in your arsenal since not many people expect it to happen. And it's simple to learn and to make second nature. Here's a clip of me using this in an actual match. I broke this guy's bed and built a quick pillar. When he spawned back, I placed a block as he came towards me, which blocked him and allowed me to get hits from above. So I won the fight. This next move is used when you're being chased on a bridge and are at risk of dying. You can do the high ground technique on the bridge and drop down to knock your enemy into the void. A variation of this move is to build over your enemy and drop down from the side to knock them off. This is more risky because you can fall in the void, but much more rewarded if you manage to hit them off. You can also build up and build backwards then drop down. This works decently also. If you want to be a little bit on the safe side, then only do this if you have backup pearls just in case you fall down. You might have a chance to clutch. I recommend practicing this a few times in a custom match to really master it. This next move can be used to buy you extra time to survive, and it's what I call the wall gap block. To do this move, you need to be running away from an enemy and go through a small gap by a wall, then block off the gap before your enemy goes through. Now you just bought yourself some extra time to survive. Huh? Now what? Well, you can either escape and heal or set up a quick trap. You can do this by placing a block like this and like that. Then as they go in, block them off and suffocate them. You can also build protection around you, then push up against the wall while aiming and swinging at your enemy. This will allow you to stick to the wall but knock your enemy off. You can use this on any map that has little gaps like this. For this move, I call it the fireball high ground stopper. It's simply using the fireball to knock an enemy who built up for high ground. They will take damage from the fireball and then from the fall damage. I have won countless games just by using this, so it's pretty useful to keep in your arsenal. 
This next move is called the high gun bed taker. It's basically when you use high gun to break a player's bed, making it more difficult for them to stop you. If you build five locks up, you can still be able to break your enemy's bed. But keep in mind, they can still hit you if they aim directly at you. So either try to move back and forth or build a wider platform. If they start trying to build up, you can hop on them and combo them since you had high ground. Here's a real match example. I was over this guy's bed, so I blocked him from hitting me. Then got low enough to break his bed. So he stood there and couldn't do anything. First next move, we have the backwards pro clutch. This move is pretty known by now, but it definitely helps a lot. It's when you make it look like you're jumping into the void, only to pearl behind your enemy when they least expect it. Let's say your enemy is doing well against you, so you run towards the void. Your enemy thinks you're gonna pearl away, but you appear behind them. Now you can either knock them into the void depending on how close they are, or you can come with them since you got the first hit with their back turned. This next move is yet another counter to the high ground technique. Let's say you're fighting an enemy, and you see them running away about to get high ground. If you go up at the same time they go up, when they drop down, you now have high ground. Then you can drop down and combo them instead. It's best to learn this move fast, because it's fairly new right now. Here's a real match example. I dashed to fight this player and got some good hits. He started running back with blocks in his hand, so we all know what he's planning to do by now. I built up the moment he did, and he dropped down. He realized I wasn't there, but I know he's gonna try to come up again, so I jumped to the side and dashed back. He was expecting to hit me off, but I outplayed him again. Now he knows it's over. He got hit twice and fell to his death. For this next move, we have the bridge switch. This is basically used when you're getting chased on a bridge and you know you're probably going to die. You can take a chance and simply turn around and fight your enemy in hopes of knocking them into the void. This move is a last resort assuming you have no blocks left, pearls, etc. Make sure to go fully in instead of keeping a distance. We have the bridge gap lock. This move is well known by most, but if in case you didn't know, it's when you have an open gap on a bridge and you block it with a wall when someone's chasing you. You may have to practice this a little in a custom match to learn it, but it's pretty effective and helped me win many games. Keep in mind, try to build it at least three blocks high because it makes it impossible for your enemies to get past it if they weren't expecting you to do this. And try not to do it too early either, since your enemy can block clutch or jump around it. For this next move, it's using the new back to base feature when you're about to die. Since you have to stay still and take no damage, you can block yourself off and use it if you have a decent distance between you and your enemy. It helps to get high gun also because it buys you extra time to teleport. There are some moments when this came in clutch. This guy was dealing damage to me so I ran. Took his iron and built up. I then blocked myself off on high ground and used it to survive. Another good clutch was when I was at the middle fighting this player. He was about to kill me so I scanned around and noticed this was a good spot and pearled last second to a high place. Locked myself off and managed to teleport and live. This next move is a way to clutch when you get knocked off a platform. If there's a decent sized wall underneath, you can catch yourself with blocks using that wall. In this real match clip, I broke this guy's bed, but he respawned and came to kill me. He hit me off, but I kept placing blocks until I was able to block clutch using one. Whenever you get hit off, always switch to your blocks and spam them to try and catch yourself on something. It's better to try little things like this because it increases your chance for winning. And last but not least, we have hitting that subscribe button and bell icon. This is a really good move because it puts you one step ahead of enemies who aren't subscribed. And yeah, have a good day or night.